first ever lightsaber battle. I've been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. We meet again at last. It is indisputably an iconic scene. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. But the actual fight is... a tad boring. Lightsaber battles have come a long way. The presentation of these scenes have evolved through choreography and scope, leading from this to arguably the best lightsaber battle yet, the throne room showdown in The Last Jedi. Before we jump into the action, make sure to subscribe below and click the bell icon to stay in the loop. <laughs> to make the throne room battle a beautifully successful action set piece, Ryan Johnson does two things. One practical and one emotional. He guides our eyes through the action to keep it clear and perceptible and he sustains the emotional connection between Rey and Ren throughout the fight. Instead of a chaotic free-for-all between ten combatants, we have a controlled and methodical piece of action filmmaking that prioritizes character. Let's get into it. The entire resistance. Soon they will all be gone. Oh, you have the spirit of a true Jedi. And because of that, you must die. Our analysis begins immediately after Snoke has been run through. For maximum clarity, Johnson avoids cutting when possible. This first shot includes five actions that would have otherwise been cut into individual shots. In the foreground, in shallow focus, Kylo Ren's fingers beckon the lightsaber. We rack focus to follow the weapon into the foreground where Ray catches it. In the background, Snoke's body collapses, drawing our eyes to the center of the frame. Just in time for Ray to pop up in the foreground in the exact spot we are already looking. This shot uses the Z axis to its full potential and creates an elaborate but clean series of events. She stands to face Ren and expects a fight. But then... In the first frame of the next shot, we have near-perfect symmetry dividing the room in half. Our focus is guided to the center of the frame, but Ray and Kylo Ren quickly spin around visualizing their alliance and their approaching enemies. Before slowly pushing forward, bringing us literally and emotionally into the battle. Ren tosses a guard across the screen, which motivates the camera to reframe Ray in the center. The camera then pushes towards Ray bringing us all the way into an over-the-shoulder medium close-up shot. The match cut reconnects Ray and Ren, yet another reminder of their alliance. There is a break in the action as Ren scans the room. With a quick POV shot, he notices Ray in the background, just in time to see her get grazed. This wide shot establishes our leads with action in the foreground 
and background. Kylo Ren, now without his lightsaber, gets locked into a precarious position. And Rey gets locked up herself. Rey throws her lightsaber to Kylo Ren and the camera whip pans with it. Johnson used these directorial choices to keep the action legible and the emotional connection between Rey and Kylo Ren intact. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, Ben. Please don't go this way. Let's recap. In this epic brawl, Ryan Johnson and his team were able to construct an exceptional action scene using framing, choreography, camera movement, and editing. He was able to keep the action clean and legible and the characters connected. These principles can be applied to any fight scene, no matter the genre or budget. Check the description to sign up for Studio Binder. It's free to get started and subscribe to our channel below. Click the bell icon for notifications and follow us on our Instagram page. When planning your next action scene, you can use blocking and staging, or you can just use the Force. People are coming on us. The galaxy is coming on us. Solo, we'll figure it out. We'll use the Force. That's not how the Force works.